What's unique about what we're doing is the fact that we're measuring information in place and transmitting the measurement results continuously. So for example, working in an oyster farm, we've got very accurate temperature sensors embedded at several depths on several oyster uh, installations. And so what we can do is we can actually give you a three-dimensional model of what the temperature looks like and what temperature sh fluctuation looks like throughout the entire oyster farm. And this is being sent up to the internet so it can be analyzed in real time. Other things we're taking a look at are temperatures, such as the temperature in the Puntledge River, to try to understand how that affects salmon behavior. We're taking a look at temperature in commercial fish farm on the east coast of Vancouver Island, again to see how these, how these factors affect uh, the growth of the fish, affect the migration, things like that. We're looking at not only temperature, but we're also looking at salinity, we're looking at turbidity. So we're measuring information, we're measuring it often, and I mean every five minutes or so, and we're measuring in a grid of sensors. So instead of having a single sensor, we actually have multiple sensors at different depths, at different geographic locations. All of this information is gathered, concentrated, and sent up to the internet for analysis.